In 2020, Trevor Bauer won the National League Cy Young Award. In early 2021, Trevor Bauer signed one of the highest paid contracts in the history of sports with the defending champion Los Angeles Dodgers. Seems great for both parties, right? Bauer wins a Cy Young, he gets his money, and the Dodgers get a Cy Young winner added to an already elite starting rotation. What can go wrong? Well, a lot did go wrong. Bauer started off the 2021 season really well, throwing over 107 innings with a 2.59 ERA, striking out 137 hitters, and right away being thrown into the Cy Young conversation. And then things went haywire. Skip ahead to now, and Trevor Bauer's time with the Dodgers is likely done. Even if he is allowed to play again, which should be a realistic scenario, his own teammates, and by that I mean most of his teammates, would not want him back. Tons of fans hate him, the team has already begun to act like he doesn't exist anymore, and Trevor Bauer might be in a new jersey by opening day of 2022. Trevor Bauer was pretty much at his peak in life and in his baseball career. He was just coming off of a Cy Young award and a ridiculous contract that made him one of the richest people in sports and dominated in his first several weeks in Dodger Blue. For the month of April, Bauer had a 2.48 ERA with 51 strikeouts, following that up with a 1.98 ERA with 45 punchouts in May. But going into June and throughout that month in particular, there was a big elephant in the room. Not of anything off the field related. We're not there yet, but more so on the field. The truth of the matter is, Trevor Bauer was cheating. Now, you can take this two ways. You can say that Bauer was cheating and is a jerk for it, or you can go the route in saying that Bauer cheated, but so did everyone else. And I'll personally go with that second point of view. It doesn't make it right just because everyone else did it, but he did it to prove a point and show how effective it is to use a sticky foreign substance on the baseball while pitching. It was the new steroids, but better, because it drastically helped pitchers put put more spin on the ball with even more velocity, and tons of pitchers league-wide were guilty of using this stuff. Nonetheless, Bauer was pretty much made the face of this scandal across baseball. During a start against the Oakland Athletics, his second start of the 2021 season, and his second start ever in a Dodger uniform, Bauer went six and two-thirds innings while giving up two runs and walking one. But that wasn't the story. The talk of baseball soon after came when reporter Ken Rosenthal reported that Major League Baseball took several of Bauer's balls, hitched that game, and took it to a lab to study what was on it. Bauer was not happy about that report, tweeting out that Ken Rosenthal was a gossip blogger, while his agent Rachel Luba claimed that Rosenthal was making a story out of nothing. He'd continue to dominate with high spin rates and strikeout hitters at a good rate, even after the sticky substance crackdown. And then came his start against the San Francisco Francisco Giants at Dodger Stadium at the end of June when Bauer, despite giving up two home runs, held the Giants to two runs on eight strikeouts in six innings pitched. Little did we all know, that was not only Bauer's last start for the 2021 season, but likely his last ever as a member of the Dodgers. The very next day, Trevor Bauer was accused of assault, getting put on paid administrative leave until the year was over and not throwing another pitch the rest of the year. But during that time, there was a ton of info that came out. The original woman who accused Bauer of giving her injuries that led her going to the hospital also had a little fling with Fernando Tatis Jr. She never blamed him for anything, so that of course made Bauer look really bad. But what made the woman look bad was the fact that there were texts showing that she wanted to get roughed up by him, with her also having more than one encounter with Bauer. Another woman then came out with accusations against Bauer saying that he hurt her during an encounter back in 2017, and that's when the man finally broke his silence since the original original accusation claiming that the Washington Post was making a false narrative about him. Nothing new came about that investigation, but as far as the current one, Bauer actually won a court case against his accuser, with her request for a restraining order against Bauer being rejected. During all this time, the Dodgers did a ton to basically remove Bauer's short Dodger career from existence. To start, they canceled his bobblehead night while also wiping all of his merchandise off the shelves at the team's store in Dodger Stadium. And on top of that, several of his own Dodger teammates unfortunately followed him on social media, with reports coming out that the majority of the team would not welcome Bauer back with open arms if the opportunity was given to them. 
For the time being, Bauer has been making content for his YouTube channel, a lot of the time with fellow YouTuber Eric Sim, and that's really all it's been as of right now. As far as whose side you should be on, I'm not going to tell you who to side with. Everyone is open to have their own opinions on the matter, and I respect how you feel. In my eyes, both parties are to blame. The woman is clearly a gold digger, and Bauer is just an idiot, and it can't be a coincidence that many teammates past and present do not like him. At the end of the day, though, Bauer should be back in the league in no time. There is one more detail that I think is pretty significant to mention. For a while, Trevor Bauer had pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers in his Twitter and Instagram bios. Well, not anymore, as he took those six big words out of the bio. That clearly shows how confident he is that he will not be a Dodger in 2022 and beyond. So where will he go? Well, wherever it is, Bauer should have a good amount of interest. Whoever brings him in will have to put a lot of money into it while also dealing with some backlash on the side with all the baggage that comes with him. Let me know what you think happens to Trevor Bauer and thank you for watching.